So for this video, I want to talk about what bothers me the most in sharing my struggles and, um, you know, what I'm going through as a single person. Anyways, when I share my struggles with others, what bothers me the most is when they respond, oh, I understand. Oh, I know. I'm also single. And I, I get it. It's hard. And for me, it's like, mm, but you have kids. Even though you're single, you have kids. Do you really understand, right? I don't think they quite grasp how deeper it is for us who's never been married and no kids. It goes deep, our struggle, like to the point where, hey, we never had a man want to marry us. We never had anyone that are, would be willing to spend their, the rest of their lives with us. Uh, we never had, we never experienced the love of a mother, of being the mother towards a child, never experienced loving another human the way a mother loves their child. Uh, we never had that fulfillment, that emptiness be filled with that kind of love, you know? And it's almost to the point where it's hard for me to understand and grasp the love of God towards us because I've never had a child to love myself. So it's hard for me to, you know, when people say, oh, God loves you, I'm like, yeah, I know he loves me. Like the Bible says it, it's clear, he loves me. And because he loved me first, I love him. But deep down, it's really hard for me to understand that love because I don't have a child to love, if that makes any sense. So it's a void, it is a void. And I don't think that the, People with kids truly understand the struggle of us single people going through that. So that's what bothers me the most as a single person is when people tell me they understand and yet they have children or they've been married before. <laughs> so, I mean, I know it comes from a good place when they want to try to, you know, show empathy and I... I like, it doesn't bother me to a point where I'm going to be like, okay, you're a loser. Don't talk to me. No. I, I appreciate their empathy, but <laughs> they, they don't understand. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Also, another thing that bothers me is when young people tell me they understand. No. You don't understand. You have your whole life ahead of you. You have a long time ahead. You don't understand. <laughs> and I'm talking about like early 20s people. I've had people tell me, yeah, I understand how you feel. I'm also single and I'm struggling so hard. And like people who never been married and don't have kids but are 22. Sorry, you don't understand. <laughs> I'll be 38. Like, yeah, yeah, there's like a huge difference in in the kind of struggle. Like, I, they've never experienced the clock ticking. Um, they've never experienced the uh, anxiety of, I'm getting old. Uh, I'm in an age where it's a risk to have children. Um, I'm... Uh, you know, at that age, usually your body starts to change and your, your health starts to change. Um, many things start to change. They don't know that. Um, but there's a lot of things in my late 30s I've experienced changing because I'm getting older. And because of that, it will make it even harder for me to conceive or to... To even have the patience for kids or you know as I grow older my desire to have kids are diminishing I wanted three kids and then I wanted two kids and now I want just one because I'm at that age now where you know 
I'll be 38 soon. I still need to meet someone, get to know them, marry them, get pregnant, which will take quite some time to get pregnant. <sighs> well, I don't want to say that, but thankfully God is a miracle worker, but in my conditions, which I will talk in another video, but I'm celiac and that can take a hard time. It, it can take a long time to try to conceive being a celiac. Um, and then nine months later, I have to give birth. So by the time that happens, I'll probably be over 40. So of course I don't want three kids, <laughs> you know? So that stress, that anxiety, the young ones don't understand at all. So those are two things that bother me <laughs> a lot. So I appreciate them. I appreciate their empathy. I appreciate them listening and sharing their struggles with me. But when they say they understand what I'm going through is like a big, mm -mm. so yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know if that's something that also bothers you <laughs> when you share your struggles with those two types of people, people who have children and are divorced or have been married before, or the young ones. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going through. And uh, till the next video.